and we're on mines in the uh, Leopard VK1602. Uh, this is a tier 6 game, um, although it's not a lot of tier 6s, which is nice. And uh, this, is, this is the, the lowest form of matchmaking that the uh, Leopard can actually get. Um, for those of you that don't understand how matchmaking works, specifically for scouts, um, basically you can see uh, three tiers above you. Now, that's because all scout tanks, so most tier 4 and above light tanks, all count as scouts, which means they get counted as uh, tier 6 tanks. And as you see, we spotted the ELC and Panzer IV there, and we managed to get the w out of the way before they took any shots at us, because we don't have a lot of health, and it's not worth risking at such an early game. There's, there is no point in finding this out this time of battle. We're outnumbered here. All we have is ourselves and a VK... Uh, sorry, a Panzer IV H. We are doing... decided to go for a reload, because we're not going to do any fighting just yet, and we can probably... Fight off. We can probably fight off the ELC by ourselves by ramming him and then sh then shooting him and then taking our clip into him. But that would also probably mean we'd get killed by the Panzer IV or the um, T34 or the VK. Is it that's the 31 OP back there? I, th I think it was actually. So yes, um, but we decided to get out of there since the pan our Panzer IV ally has been killed, and we make a runner towards the artil our artillery. Now we turn around, because we had some good camo on this, and we weren't spotted. At least I don't think we were spotted. I don't have six cents on this yet. Um, and we are just going to provide some spotting for the artillery or tank destroyers that, for the stuff that comes around the corner. Although, that doesn't happen. They seem to decide to camp. If they had actually decided to come up that way, they had four or five tanks there. But they, just, they changed their mind and they came up this way. Um, which I thought was really bizarre because they could easily have got some decent um, flanking opportunity here. They could have taken out all the artillery and those tank destroyers up there and then come straight around and they would have had this game in the bag. Um, so yeah, they can, you can notice that you notice about uh, a good third of our team is camping on the A line. Two tank destroyers and three artillery. The artillery I can understand, but those tank destroyers, they can be really useful up the front line. Especially since it's a it's like two SU 85s, at least one. But anyway, so we decided to help out this KV 85. And as you can see, we can easily get through the um, shell there. And we managed to bounce a HE shot. Now I think he was using the stock gun firing HE, which is very bizarre. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he has run out of AP, or maybe he just thinks that HE does more damage, which is um, a bit of a joke on a lot of forums, um, because it does do more damage. Not in theory, but only in theory. We take uh, a good chunk of health off that Marauder 38k. Nice bit of damage there. Now we spot the artillery now. I I've always um, thought the best thing when ta is to take it out of whenever you see it. There's always that opportunity that can drop a shell on top of you or another teammate, and that can cost you a game. I've seen, I've seen games won and lost through artillery shells hitting right at the right moment. Now, if only on one burst, I decide to put it into the VK. The Hellcat takes a nice, um, heavy hit, and that will um, really help us out later, as you will see. Now. Now we've decided to um, enter the camp. We haven't, lost, we haven't lost any health at this point, which is really good, which means we can um, take a shot or two from something. So now they're capping. I've decided no one is near the cap. I need to get in there and provide spotting so that they can be shot at by our tank destroyers and artillery. For those of you who also don't know, although you should by now, the camp has been around for a while, when you're in counter, you do st you stop the cap when there's someone else in it, and the VK has decided to come for me. And I um, had forgotten that the uh, 
Marta was over there. And so we get into hiding behind this this little bit here. So it's protect we're basically protecting ourselves from both avenues of attacks, although half the enemy team is still alive. It's very it's fifty fifty at the moment. We've had a decent game so far, we've done six hundred damage and two kills, which is nice. The VK is taken out by our KV-85 ally, which we held out before. And we do a drive-by on that Hellcat, finishing him off. Now the Marta fires and misses at us. I'm going to get behind cover as quickly as possible. Now, soon he won't be spotted. That's right. And we blind shot him. Again, using this, this machine gun to effect is really um, quite easy once you've had a bit of practice with it. I mean, you only, you only just don't realise that your targets have to be of low um, low armour and you're fine. So, now we go and fight off the CLC. Well, he's pretty much on one clip for us. I mean, we can just rush at him and bur fire a burst at close range and he should go. I gotta say, with the um, Gnome Father's gun mods, this does sound pretty cool. We managed to ninja that kill. All 170 damage. Now we've done 1018 dam damage now, and our uh, WA is already at 5,985. So, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and try and take out this Panzer 4H, which has been there the whole game. This, this happens regularly on the um, Asian server, there's a lot of camping, the, the meta is very... Oh, it almost isn't, it isn't a meta game, it's very... Oh no, we've now, now we've seen the Crusader, this is not good for us because we can't really attack. We fire off a random burst just to get his attention, see if we can get his attention away from us. But as I was saying, th there is no meta really because the players are also inconsistent. They're either ultra aggressive or they're ultra campy. And it's usually the campy side that tends to win because the, the other side just tends to not want to fight. I just don't understand it, but I'm having fun on the Asian server at the moment. I've actually been in the two clans because they just haven't been that active, unfortunately. So if you know any good clans on the Asian server, let me know. So we injure that kill. We've earned ourselves a nice little top gun already. So here's the Crusader. Now we've very almost nearly got killed by one of our own artillery. I wouldn't have been happy if that had happened. But, whichever. Now obviously we're not going to get a Radley Walters medal, which would have been really nice um, for our... Uh, I wouldn't say effort this game. I mean, we played well, but we a lot of it is kill stealing. But that's what it is in light tanks. That, that's that's pretty much what you do. You can farm top guns and things like that by going and ninjaing kills. But that's actually quite valuable for your team more than you think, because people may call it kill stealing. But if you kill an enemy tank, he's not firing at your buddies anymore. And if there are less guns firing at your team and more guns firing at their team, you're going to win. Now that's not really true. If everyone goes and camps in a corner, and one the last guy ends by capping, and that was very lucky there, if, as you could see, he was up in a f in a ambush position. He fired at us point blank range, and it hit a little bit of terrain. As you can see, there's those little little wire. Oh, I don't know what they call them. Copper. I remember in high school they were called cotton bobbins because th that was what they used to put on the sewing machines in home ec. I heard those classes by the way. But anyway, the, he hit one of those things and the shell didn't hit us. And then we finished him off, which was very lucky. Um, we could have easily have just died there, which it was. I wanted, to, I wanted, to, I wanted the kill. I wanted the damage for more W and eight and more XP and credits, which is why I'm grinding this tank so I can get to the next tank, which is the VK-28-28-01? I'm not sure, I can't remember. 
but I'm looking forward to that tank because apparently it's quite good and it comes with a derp gun which should be lots of fun. So yes, um, that's the game in the VK1602 Leopard on mines. A uh, nice little top gun and a decent W8. Now it says 1000, it says 1000 there, but that's the text box being cut off. It's actually 10,000 which is quite a good game W8 wise. Um, well, uh, let's go to the um, post game stats and we'll uh, check that out from there. As you can see that was another mastery badge which is uh, very nice. I don't know if this is an easier tank to get your mastery badges on but I'll, I'll take it. So um, as you can see we got a uh, top gun and we also got high calibre and also the uh, abundance of ribbons we everyone seems to get these days. I mean I don't think I've ever seen a game except when I've derped out and died first hit where I've not got ribbons so it's yeah, I think those things are way too easy to earn. I, d I don't even see the point of them half the time anyway. Um, because it's nice to say I've got a hundred arson badges, but pfft, eh, who cares. Um, so XP earned, we were earned nine, uh, sorry, uh, bleh, nine, sorry, it's being, it's late and I'm tired. So it's uh, 1,984 XP, and that's not a double, that's uh, f just raw XP. Also, obviously with premium, that is. Um, Spotting damage, we've got some spotting damage this game, with 614 being spotting damage, that would have been a couple of kills early on, and some damage later on from the Crusader we got from the uh, Arty almost taking us out, which is always good. Um, and we got 14,069 damage, which is very good. Again, we only got a 56 hit percent rate, but it begins a machine gun, I mean, it's not going to be... It's not easy to hit with everything. In fact, I, I, I would like to challenge anyone who can show me a game where they've hit 100% of their shots with a machine gun. So, to all of you guys out there, show me. Go on, please. Um, the next... Um, you'll see we are top in XP with 1,323. That would be base if we weren't running premium. Um, got seven kills, which is very nice in this uh, little tank. But although we had the advantage of that it was a tier six game, so everything was um, relatively easy to pan. I didn't need to use any um, premium this game. Um, the KB85 had a good game, so shout out to him. He uh, got three kills and 861 experience, and the rest of the team did marginally well as well, except for the uh, what? One damage. <laughs> Oh dear, that's funny. That's actually kind of funny as well. 17. He must have rammed something and died, I'd say. Um, if only I could check that and find out why. But yeah, as this, this is a great screenshot, so apologies for that. Um, VK, VK on the enemy team, he had a pretty good game. He um, did 1400 damage and he got two kills, which is nice. Uh, shout out to this Hellcat as well. He got some damage in as well. Um, and the rest of the team play, played reasonably well. And now, not the 15 damage one. I wonder what his 15 damage was. I don't know. It doesn't matter. So yeah, so not not bad all up. I mean, it's not the worst game I've ever seen. Shots fired 111. Oh, that's kind of cool. Triple one. Uh, hits and penetrations, 63 hits and 51 penetrations. From a distance of 300 meters of all. Oh, okay. So it can do that much damage. We can actually fire that far. Oh, yeah, fair enough, that's something I didn't realise. And damage of 1469, which is nice. So we spotted six enemy vehicles. Oh, one, no, three more than one of the scout metal, which would have been nice. Enemy vehicles, uh, damage, we damaged nine, and destroyed seven, which is very good. Um, 14, 16, sorry, six, six, 14, again, tired. Um, sorry. 614 uh, damage with my assistance, which is very good. Base capture points and defense points. We've got 19 defense points, which is okay. And we traveled a distance of 4.68 kilometers. And uh, out of all that, we made we got away with a profit of um, 21,572. And uh, yeah, that was a very good game, I thought, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm actually really enjoying the um, the media, the sorry, the medium line, the light line for the Germans. Um, they're not they're not the best. I've played the American lights. I'm up to the bulldog on the N on my NA account, um, which once I've got the auto loader, I'll probably start looking for some good replays for you guys to watch. 
Um, it it's a good it's a good tank. But anyway, the leopard is a bit of a fun tank to play, especially since it kind of plays like a medium. Um, I was reading on the f on the What Labs forum, which I would recommend you guys check that out. I'll put it in the in the uh, the notes of the video. I really in the What Labs is a really good um forum with lots of good resources and people there that are willing to teach you and and tell you but don't go on there and start acting like you know everything because you'll just get shut down this is pretty much where all the best players hang out on what labs and um, I, I hang out there because I want to learn and I like, like to see what people have to say not to say I'm the best I'm good but I'm not the best far from the best so yes um, well that will be all for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've made, had fun recording it, although I'm extremely tired and uh, I'm babbling on about some random stuff. So, yes, um, I'm try really, I, I really appreciate you guys that have stuck by me. I'm really trying to get more content out for you. I've been having a lot of average games recently, especially since I'm on the SA, the SEA, sorry, the Asian server, um, a lot more now since I want to step pad my way up to a good clan and start playing some clan wars which if they let me well, I can start showing you guys um also um my internet could be being um upgraded soon uh I don't know when this will happen this is probably not for a couple of months it could but I've also been told it could be six months I've also been told it could be a year but um what's happening is uh, my area is getting fiber which is very rare in Australia it's rarer than hen's teeth as we say um so yes we'll see how that goes um but if I do I might start streaming which would be awesome because well who doesn't like watching streams and I get to talk with people while I'm playing my stream so Anyway, I'll uh, leave you at that, and I will talk to you next time. Uh, you have you have a safe tanking session after, or have had a safe tanking session before, and I will see you next time. Oh, and uh, don't forget to like the video. Please like the video. I love it when you like videos. And leave a comment. Go on, do it. Oh, and uh, that's the ping on the Asian server. 141. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that good, is it? <laughs> Oh well. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.